Entering quadratic trinomials. There's three basic methods I'm going to talk about in this video. Trial and error, the AC method, and using the quadratic formula. Let's begin with the trial and error method of factoring the quadratic trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a is not zero. The first step is to factor out the greatest common factor, if there is one, then list all the factors of a and list all the factors of c, consider the reverse order for these, and then you're going to have to consider all the possibilities, something times x plus a factor of c times something times x plus a factor of c again, and you'll check by multiplying out. So to demonstrate the trial and error method, we're asked to factor, then solve, 5x squared plus 40x plus 75 equals 0. So step 1 is to factor out the greatest common factor, and that looks to me to be a 5. So I have 5 times x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. Now I could imagine I'm dividing both sides by 5. Or it's very clear that 5 is not the part of the multiplication that's causing this to become 0. So this becomes x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. Over here is my scratch work that I do not include in my problem. So a in this case is 1, one of the easiest ones to solve. And c here is 15. So what I'm seeking here is factors of 15 that will sum to the b term, which in this case is now 8. And I think that's probably 3 and 5. Factors of 1 are just 1 and 1. So this is going to look like x plus a factor of 15 times x plus a factor of 15 equals 0. Really, the only thing it could be is 3 and 5. And I know a factors of 15 are 1 and 15, but that's not going to do it, is it? And I could check this. Is it true when I multiply it out? So I have x squared plus 5x plus 3x plus 15 equals 0. So that is x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. So that part is true. And if I really want to be very careful and check, I could multiply everything by 5. And that will give me my original equation back, which is 5x squared plus 40x plus 75 equals 0. So now I have factored the equation, and now I can solve the equation. So I can use the zero products property, x plus 3 equals 0, or x plus 5 equals 0. So either x is negative 3 or x is negative 5. And they're the two possible solutions to my quadratic. So I would list this as negative 5 and negative 3 in the solution set. There's some disadvantages to, to the trial and error method that we're going to see here. Now here we're asked to factor an expression, so I can't come up with a solution. Factor 10m squared plus 19m plus 6. And I don't have a leading coefficient of 1. Now my leading coefficient of 10. Uh, and I could factor that. It could be 1 times 10 or 2 times 5. And then I have to think about factoring 6, my number in my quadratic here, and that could be 1 times 6 or it could be 2 times 3. This is going to produce a lot of different possibilities. So of all the different possibilities, I would write them all down. And then because the first factor here on m is 1 and the factor on the second binomial is 10, the first term is always going to be 10m squared. And the last term will always be 6. The question is, that we have is about the middle term. And I can go through all these different possible factorizations and I see the only one that works is 2m plus 3 multiplied by 2m plus 2. So this means the answer to my question, 10m squared plus 19m plus 6, is 2m plus 3 multiplied by 5m plus 
2. I would use an equal sign there because I'm rewriting the expression in an equivalent way by factoring it. Next we'll talk about the AC method for quadratic equations ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. a is not 0. We'll factor out the greatest common factor. Then we need to multiply the coefficients of the first and last terms. So we need to multiply a and c together. Then we are seeking two integers that multiply to the product AC and sum to B if possible. It may not be possible. At that point, we rewrite the middle term as the sum of two terms found in step three and then factor by grouping. So let's repeat the example we found using the trial and error method using the AC method. So in this problem, 10m squared plus 19m plus 6, the greatest common factor is 1, so there's not much to think about there, and a times c is 10 times 6 or 60. So I have to think about all the factors of 60. So factors of 60 are 1 and 60, and if I add those two factors up, I get 61, and that's not 19. 2 and 30, so if I add those two up, I get 32, not 19. 4 and 15, that's 19. That's it. 12 and 5 is 17, so that's not it, not it, not it. These are the factors that match. So I have 10m squared plus 19m plus 6, and that's going to equal 10m squared plus 4m plus 15m plus 6. Now if I'm going to factor by grouping, these two terms are going to have to have a common factor and these two terms are going to have to have a common factor and I have a bit of a problem here. So I think I need to use this the other way around. Instead of thinking of this as 4 and 15, I think I need to think of this as 15 and 4. So this original equation equals 10m squared plus 15m plus 4m plus 6, and now I have factors that I'm going to have in common. So I'm going to take factors out of the first two terms that uh, are in common. So this is 5m, so this will give me 2m plus 3, plus 2 is the only factor in common between these, so this will still be 2m plus the factor they have in common, they have in common 2m plus 3, so that is 2m plus 3, and that multiplies to be 5m plus 2. Some quadratic trinomials are factorable using the AC method or the trial and error method, but some quadratic trinomials are not factorable. When we're in that situation, we can use the quadratic formula as long as we have an equation to begin with. We can actually use this to find factors as well, and I'll show you how. Go back to a previous example. Factor then solve 5x squared plus 40x plus 75 equals 0. I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So here a is equal to 5, b is 40, and c is 75. So x in this case will equal minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 40 squared, minus 4 times 5 times 75, all over 2 times a, which is 10. So that means x equals minus 40 plus or minus the square root of 100, all divided by 10. So x is minus 40, plus or minus 10, all divided by 10. So that means x equals minus 50 divided by 10, or x equals minus 30 divided by 10. x is negative 5, or x is negative 3, if I solve each one of these for 0, I'll have x plus 5 equals 0, or x plus 3 equals 0. So notice when we worked this problem earlier using the trial and error method, 
we factored out a 5, and then we found the factors were x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 3 equals 0. So we have two equivalent equations here. And of course, we found the solutions to those equations were x equals minus 5 or x equals minus 3.